Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. And in this video, we're going to get started on some of the basics of scripting and how to add the uh, wireframe modifier onto in while in your scripts. So this is kind of cool because you can just automate some of your wireframe settings. So go ahead and get started by clicking on the scripting. And I'm also going to delete the cube and add the monkey. And let's take, oops, I want to take this, and we're going to use it in just a second. So go ahead and create a new script. Uh, if you didn't follow along with what I just did, I just created a monkey, and then I went down here, and if you click on these, you can select or deselect them. Uh, you can just copy it by clicking on it, and then hit Control C. I may or may not actually even copy it, because I don't know if I want all those values out there to clutter my script. But let's go ahead and first do this. Let's do import BPY and then do. Uh, I want to select everything because I right now I don't want a camera or a light in my scene as it'll clutter some of the things. And also, if we run the script multiple times, we don't want a whole bunch of Suzanne heads being put in the same spot that we just can't notice they're even there. So do bpy.ops.object.select all and then do action equals select just to tell it select. I'm also going to turn on colors and line numbers. Do bpy.ops.object.delete now if we do that it'll delete everything. Now we can do uh, bps bpy ops mesh primitive monkey add and I think let's just see what the default parameters are for it which is actually what I wanted perfect so we don't have to type in anything in the parameters uh, sweet so we are practically halfway there honestly this is really as easy as it gets like just adding those things in now we just need to go to the modifier add modifier and click on wireframe, right? That should do the job. Oh, it does. Oh, but we didn't actually do that within the script. That's the whole point of this tutorial. Uh, go ahead and highlight over wireframe. Let's do that. And we can see in the Python bpy.ops object.modifier add, we can just type in type wireframe. So let's go ahead and do that. bpy.ops.object, uh, which is actually similar to some of the things we have already. And then do dot modifier add. Cool. And then we just do type equals um, wireframe. Sweet. Let's run it and see what we get. We have it. We have the Suzanne head. And just from past, I already know that bpy.ops.object.modifier add type equals subsurf is the subdivision surface. We can run that script and it will create our Suzanne head with a little bit more uh, curves to it. So that's kind of sweet too. You can see how the kind of the power of this is by by clicking one button now uh, let's just say we don't have this and we want this in our scene but we don't have to go and click on all these buttons we can just hit run script and boom we have a Suzanne head we've created an object first off we've deleted everything we've created an object we've added a subsurf and a wireframe all within a second which is incredible so I hope this has inspired you to think of a few things that you can do with Blender and the wireframe modifier. Uh, if you need to edit options within it, I should probably show you that as well. Let's do that. We can look at highlighting over thickness. Let's say we don't want it this thick, but we want it thinner. Let's just do bpy.data.objects, Suzanne, or I'm just going to take zero. Um, I'll tell you in a second why. Dot modifiers, wireframe thickness. So let's go ahead and do that. BPY dot uh, 
uh, OPS, is that correct? <laughs> and I've just forgotten things. Uh, we need to add data. That's right, because we're referencing something that's already created. Objects. And uh, I'll actually boil over here. BPY.data.objects. If we do that, we can see that the BPY collection has one object in it. It's our Suzanne head. Uh, what is it called? Well, if we do at zero, it's the Suzanne. You can already see that. But we don't really need to put Suzanne in there. We already have what we needed by just doing zero. And it just kind of looks a little bit cleaner, I think. So if we do dot zero and then dot modifiers wireframe thickness. Modifiers wire, capital wire frame, and then dot thickness. Okay, before we run this, I also want to type this in here. So bpy.data to objects zero dot modifiers uh, wireframe and then thickness. We do that and we get this number, which is zero point zero one nine 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 nine. Okay, ultimately this is just zero point two. <laughs> This rounds up all the way back here to 2. So uh, our thickness is currently set at 0 0.02, or even more accurately, this number. Uh, what we need to do, though, is let's just set it in our script to what if we want this to be 0 0.01. One, so about half the width. If we run the script, and voila, our sh our Suzanne head's wireframe is now way thinner, which is pretty cool. Um, you can also, if you wanted to, you can see how sometimes I'm selecting off of things. Let's just automate that. Let's just change the action to deselect at the end. So now we don't have to worry about deselecting every time. Every time we run it, it works. And we don't have to see the selection lines. Sweet. I hope this has um, given you some inspiration of things you can do. Good luck with your projects, and hope to see you again.